Well, according to the Calorie Control Council, the average American consumes more than 4,500 calories during a holiday gathering. That's I think a I lot. did. I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of, right. you know, bloated, slobby like mm -hmm. today, right? Well, holiday meals leave us thinking, you've blown it, right? So why not pick back up after mm -hmm. New Year? That's the mentality for a lot of us. Well, Fox 20's Catherine Descharmer is in Mishawaka talking about avoiding this and staying in shape as we survive the holidays. And this morning we're talking about how to get yourself in that rhythm before the first of the year, before those New Year's re resolutions. And so this morning I'm with owner of this gym here, Dan Vukmirovic. So let's start with motivation. I feel like that's the biggest thing for a lot of people, just getting ourselves to the gym. What are those tips to just get us started? Well, getting started, you have to kind of know your purpose. You have to know why. And so if we're able to understand that you're going to get effective workouts and know that you're going to a actually get a combination of workouts that are going to kind of work you towards your goals and then working with someone, a, a coach that would help you get the right workout for the right thing, that's where you're going to be at. And then you're going to be that much more apt knowing that you're going to be successful. So what's that combination that you guys use here? Yeah, so a combination we use at Let's Go Fitness Center here in Mishawaka is that we use a, a the, uh, we call it the trifecta mm -hmm. of workouts. So we have a good strong cardio programs, strong strength building, resistance programs, and also stability and balance. And so between those three, you can stay healthy and in the game and really help you towards whatever part of your goal, whether it's athletic performance, maybe it's weight loss, different things. Uh, we have uh, different programs for each of those goals. So all three of those kind of combined together is really going to help us get our results, right? Really helps you get good results and it also really ke uh, keeps you in the game long term and injury free because that's, that's what we're looking for is kind of making this a lifestyle of fitness and health. And so Starting with cardio, what do we want to know about maybe how to get our heart rate up? What does it need to get to? Sure. So cardio, one of the mistakes that a lot of people make about with cardio is that they, I call it the low and slow syndrome. Mm -hmm. So low and slow is they get on a treadmill or they go out and they walk mm -hmm. and they're expecting to burn fat. Now that's not a bad thing. Trust me, it's better than sitting on the couch at home. Mm -hmm. But here's the deal. If we're going to uh, try to really actually get fat burn, we need to get our heart rate up into the fat burning zone, which is generally somewhere between 70 and 90 percent of your heart's capacity. Capacity. So you need to kind of really move it and it's going to get a little uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's going to get you better results. So rather than going for a long time mm -hmm. slow, it's better to go shorter sprints faster. And then, so do you guys want to show us? Absolutely. We'd love to out? show you a Tabata sauce, my friend Mark, and we're going to show you the idea of simple thing you can do at home. So what we'll love to do is we're just going to do simple jumping jacks. Mark's going to do an advanced version where he's going to add a burpee into it. So what we'll do is for 20 seconds on and then 10 seconds off, and we'll repeat this several times. Uh, obviously, we're just going to do one of these right now. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Go. So we're jumping jack and we're keeping our form. Now the modification you can do is just step out. So Mark's doing out the full out burpee form and you want to really try to step it up and move your pace. So you're getting your heart rate up. Go, go. Three, two, and one. Chill. And then you chill for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And we'll repeat that several times, which would be great. And that gets you into the fat burning zone. Okay, perfect. So this is the first part of our trifecta, right? The cardio. And we'll be back later to tell you more about the rest that what you'll need to know to get yourself in the workout zone ready before. Uh, keep that up during the holidays. For the Vox 28 Morning News, I'm Catherine Ducharme.